YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video in today's video. As you can see from the title, it is another crochet hair install video. And today's crochet hair, as you also saw from the title, is the, well, let me just hold up the strands I have right now. I'll just call it Go-Go Curl from Amazon. Now you might be a little confused because you're like, you tried a Go-Go Curl recently, but I'm going on a beach trip this week and I wanted a 613. So I said, Amazon, go cut through in two days because I want a 613 right now. And so I got me two different color variations of hair. So it came in packs like this because, you know, Amazon, that's me throwing it. It ain't no fanciness when it comes to the packaging. You're going to get some kind of plasticky material. But the color of the hair that I got, I got one package. One package comes with eight bundles of hair, eight bundles that look like this. So eight individual bundles of the 1B27613. So I have eight of those and those look like this when you take it out. And you can kind of really see the gradation of the 1B27 and then the 613 blonde ends. I don't, I don't want to ever do a full 613. That'd be stark. I've never done a full 613. But I like a good ombre effect. But I also wanted to cut the 613 a bit because I didn't want to be full 613. So I got another bundle that is the 1B3027. And so that you can see is the 1B, the 30 right here, and then the 27 blonde ends. The same 27 blonde ends that are in the middle of this are at the ends of this one. So I want just a bunch of colors. I don't know, I'm feeling very Caribbean. I am going to the Caribbean. So I'm feeling very much so I want a vibe. And I don't know if this hair is gonna be in for a good time, a long time, how it's gonna function in water, all that good stuff. I just know the look I want it. So again, bought this hair from Amazon with my own coin. This hair, both are 18 inches. They do have a 12 inch version of both though too. So if you would like it a bit shorter, they have it a bit shorter as well. They have multiple colors too, multiple different variations, but I'm going to just do a mix of this throughout my head. Now, my braid pattern might be looking a little janky. I'll do a turnaround so you guys can see it. It is the same braid pattern for my last install. Same exact braid pattern. Not done the same way. No, it is the same exact hair. You guys know I tried the Afri Natural Gia Curl. Only wore that hair for a week, but I'm not going to let that stop me from not getting my wear's worth of a good braid down situation. My mother did my braid down over a week ago or a week ago at this point for the Gia Curl. And she did 11 braids all going straight back, coalescing into a little bun in the back of my head. That is what it looked like freshly done. Of course, this is what it looks like a week's in. I did have swim lessons this week too. So it's a, probably a little bit looser, goosey. It's not super loose. It's not like weeks, weeks of wear loose, but it's not, you know, a fresh, a fresh braid down. But that's neither here nor there. Without further ado, let's just get into the install of this go-go curl situation that I got from Amazon. So this is what one strand of the hair looks like straight out of the pack. And I will say straight out of the pack, the 613 ends are already frizzy. I mean, this is right out of the package, but we'll get more into that later. All I'm going to do to install is push the crochet needle through my braid, attach the hair to the end of that needle, then pull both the needle and the hair through enough that a loop is created. And then you're going to want to double, triple knot this hair for the best result. And honestly, I just repeat that process all throughout my head. That is how simple installing crochet hair is. What's different is I'm going to also install those just plain 30, 27 strands as well, all throughout intermittently. So I'm doing it with no rhyme or reason. I'm just doing the 613 and the 30, 27, and then just going back and forth, back and forth.
to the front as per usual i invisible knot the hair so what i'm doing is pushing the crochet needle through and instead of pulling both strands through and like triple knotting and that creates a big knot you don't want a big knot you want a very small knot so you're going to bring one strand through and if you can see that knot is so minuscule it's so small we want small knots again remember repeat after me we want small knots in the front just for a more natural and realistic hairline are people going to be fooled and think it's our real hair i don't know maybe possibly but at least give it a chance to look real the knots being huge in the front just to me kind of can be an eyesore so now this is the finished look and i'll insert a clip of me doing a full 360 turnaround so you can see the full effect of this 18 inch hair that has been uncut at this point and of course you're seeing the front view of it now i think i have achieved what i was looking for i think the vision that i had for the 613 27 31 b all of that combination is in a full effect i wanted a cute little kind of a style i didn't really install in any kind of rhyme or reason i used equal parts 1b 27, 613, and then 1B, 30, 27. I use equal parts, so I use four packs of one, four packs of the other for a total combined eight packs of hair. So if you do buy just one bundle pack of this, that should be enough to do a full head, not like me and do two different colors. If you do one full pack of eight, that'll be definitely enough hair to achieve the look that you're looking for. Didn't take me more than 90 minutes to install my mother's braid down again. She did it last week but it was only an hour there so again just a quick two hours 30 the whole situation i still got time to order my food i ordered my food right before i turned this camera on i'm starving you guys know i filmed this in the mornings and my goal is always to be done by lunchtime and i was and we are not even at noon yet so very quick style this hair didn't cause a lot of fuss in terms of my install of it too, meaning that I didn't lose a lot of hair. I didn't split this hair at all. I think that's where I ran into some problems with the Gia curl, honestly. I think in the splitting of that hair is why I didn't really get along with it last week. I decided let's not do that again this time. That was supposed to be my beach hair. Didn't work out so well. This is going to be my beach hair. I ain't got time to install anything else. My trip is like three days away. So this is going to have to be it. But I think it is exactly what I was looking for. I did triple knot throughout the back just for an added level of security because this hair is a little bit on the softer side. In the front, I invisible knotted so that I could have, you know, of course, a realistic hairline that's going on in the front. I have to be very careful with the hairline in the front too because we are a weekend with this. And, you know, the last hair, the takedown, all of that does a lot of manipulation to the hair you just want to make sure you're being gentle with this especially the part where people can see be gentle but also um i want it to be cute the hair itself i don't think i said at the top was cost me 25.99 but i did both so it probably cost me closer to 50. honestly if i had just been one if, if i could have been buying things individually i think that would have been a better option but again i do think my one con of, with this hair is that in some places it's not all ironically some places the 613 and it might just be my eyes looks very silvery like does it not come off a little bit white or silvery. I know 613 is a light platinum blonde, but some places it looks very different. I don't know because it's a synthetic hair versus a human hair that's a color 613 that might play a factor into it. But in some places I'm like, it looks a little white-ish, like a very white color. But overall, I do like this look. But you guys let me know down below. How are you feeling? It? Are you liking it? Is it giving the judge it needs to give? Like, what are your thoughts, comments, concerns, all that good stuff down below? In that comment section, you guys know I'll respond to everything that you guys put down there. Make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't. We don't like haters over here as well as we want you to subscribe so you don't miss a thing we do over here on this channel. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at LeahLavon89 to keep up with my shenanigans in real time. TikTok at LeahLavon, which is a few more shenanigans in a bit more real time. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.